My name is Holly Rindorf, and I study biology at Radford University, and I went to the Amazon. I'm interested in microbiology, like the first time I looked through a microscope. I was like, ah, oh, this is what I want to do. This is so cool. And when I first applied for RARE, I knew pretty much right off the bat that I wanted to go down and find sandflies that are vectors for the parasitic protozoa, Leishmania. Leishmaniasis is the actual manifestation of an infection with Leishmania, which can result in cutaneous sores, which is the main type that is found in Peru. Then there's also the form that affects the mucous membranes, mucutaneous leishmaniasis. And then there's visceral, which will affect organs, which that's not really occurring right now in Peru. There's kind of the correlations between deforested areas, logging areas, where people are going in and encroaching upon the rainforest and removing the natural habitat where the animals that have evolved with Leishmania, they no longer have habitat and so you end up with human interaction. So these flies are biting the humans, you're seeing higher rates of the disease manifesting. I wanted to know, do the sandflies that carry this parasite, are they down? in the Las Piedras region. And if those sandflies are present down there, do they carry the parasite? First step of my project was to set commercial traps that are typically used to capture mosquitoes. We set these traps in different areas where we suspected there would be a mammalian presence. The traps were baited with synthetic lures which kind of replicate a warm-blooded mammal's scent. So we set our traps out overnight, and then we retrieve them in the morning and would remove our sandflies and anything else that was in the trap. After retrieving any collected insects out of the trap, we brought them back to the station and we would look at them underneath the dissecting microscope to sort them out and identify if we have a sandfly, if we have biting midges, mosquitoes, and so on. And then we extracted DNA from our collected insects to bring back to school. And then here at school, I will be testing to confirm that I actually have sandflies of the genus which carries the Leishmania. And then I will also be testing to detect the presence of the parasite in my samples. I enjoy playing in the lab. It's my playground. Yeah. I love the lab. But going down to the Amazon showed me the other side of it, the field work aspect of it, which I really had none of prior to going down there, which was a big selling point for me. Like, I want to go down to the Amazon and I want to get dirty and do field work and bring it back to the lab. So I know that long-term career-wise, I want something that's a combination in the lab work, field work, and doing them both. I don't want to just be stuck in a building inside four walls 24-7. I want to be able to go out and get stuff, bring it back, play with it, look at it, and see what's really there. <laughs>